Today I'd like to show you this portable satellite meter made by GT Media. This is the V8 Finder and it's a combination satellite meter, receiver and television all wrapped up into one handheld unit that you can take into the field with you to set up your satellite dishes without having to lug a TV and receiver outside. And out of the box, the V8 Finder includes a neck strap for the protective case, an AV cable, an AC wall plug, as well as a 12 volt charging cord. So taking a look at the unit itself, on the bottom is a power plug on the left and a USB port on the right, probably for software updates. And on the side here, there is an HDMI out along with an AV out and an AV in cable. So there's a little bit of versatility there to connect it to a larger television. And on the top, we have the RF connector as well as an on off switch. On the front, there are LED indicators for power for the 22K switch if there is one in your LNB, along with the voltage output, because your LNB needs voltage to operate properly on your satellite dish, a uh, lock LED when you've locked the satellite, and then of course a charging indicator as well. And because this is a battery powered unit, it's perfect for off-grid situations. You could conceivably connect the satellite dish to this unit and still watch TV, even during a power outage or in some sort of other situation where you don't have access to grid power. And you have a couple of options for charging the battery. Number one, you can use the included AC adapter in combination with a power inverter like this one, or you can also power it off your vehicle's battery directly with 12 volts by using this included plug. And a little trick I use to avoid wear and tear on these RF connectors, twisting a cable on and off of it, is to put one of these adapters on your coax. And what this does is converts the uh, twist-on connector to a push-on. And that just avoids wear and tear and makes for a nice, quick, easy connection when you're uh, setting up your meter. This coax is connected to my C-band dish on satellite 101 west so let's go ahead and turn this on just push the toggle switch so right now it's saying no signal because uh, right now it's uh, on a KU band transponder and we're on a C band dish so we can go into the menu here and fix that and if we use these arrows to toggle over here to satellite list, we can uncheck 139 West and just use the arrows to scroll down and find satellite 101 West. And there we go, we'll select that. And now we'll hit the yellow button for setup. Okay, so here we are at the setup menu. And now we're going to select the correct LMB frequency for my C-band dish. 5150 is the typical frequency setting for C-band LNBs. The type that I use though is a little different. It's known as a one cable solution and it has a frequency range of 5150 to 5750 okay and now if we go to our transponder menu here let's see what happens with some of these signal levels I find that this meter tends to read signals really low so even though it only says 64 percent um, there, this one's a little better, 72. The signal strength doesn't seem to get uh, much higher than the 70s most of the time. Even if I have a, a dish locked, it still doesn't, doesn't read very high usually. 
So this is just like setting up a receiver you'd use uh, connected to a TV. Now if we press the exit key here, we can hit search and now we can actually run a blind scan. We're gonna search for all channels, pay and free, TV and radio, blind scan. And let's see what we get. All right, so you can see them coming in there. A lot of them have dollar signs. That's uh, because those channels are encrypted pay channels. So you won't be able to watch those ones, but there's quite a few free channels on 101 West, including the uh, MeTV, Mux, uh, Decades, Heroes and Icons, Start TV. So we're getting quite a, quite a haul of channels here. Unfortunately, most of them are pay channels. There's Jewelry TV. There's me TV there, Heroes. The West Feed of Heroes, Start TV, Movies, Decades. Those are definitely the most popular free channels on this satellite. So this basically works the exact same way that you would set up a there we go, that's all done. Same way if you set up a receiver connected to your television. So here in the startup menu, this uh, aqua blue line here for the transponders, these transponders are the uh, transponders for the Me TV, Decades, Start TV, Heroes and Icons and Movies channels. And you can see that the signal quality, the yellow bar, it's much higher now that we have run a blind scan. If you recall, this was only at 30%. So one thing I notice about this meter is that it seems to read low. The signal strength really hasn't changed. It's in the low 70s. And that can lead you to think that you might have your dish misaligned slightly. But I would say uh, watch out for this low reading and maybe run a blind scan before you move your dish or make any adjustments because you might have your dish aimed where it needs to be. Don't be fooled by this uh, low reading on the signal meter. So I backed out of all of the menus here and if you press the OK button, that gives you your channel list and you can scroll through this and then just press OK to pick the channel that you want to watch. Uh, I can't show you the channels though because of copyright rules, but I'll find a channel to just at least show you the screen so you can see it's full color. All right, and here's a, just a look at the screen. You can see it's full color here. I'm using the Newsy channel. Um, it's not, Newsy's not on this satellite anymore. Newsy is a Scripps channel. So you can find that for free on satellite 131 West C-Band and also 103 West C-Band. But you can see the screen's full color though. So that's kind of nice because you can use this as an all-in-one TV and receiver unit. And to adjust the volume, just use the left and right arrows. All right, so we're back at the main menu screen here. And what we'll do is go back into satellite list for a minute here. Let's say I wanted to add a transponder to this satellite. I can press the red button for TP or transponder. And then uh, the green button to add a transponder. And now all I have to do is use the number keys on the keypad to dial in the frequency and the symbol rate and pick the right polarity then go down and save and the signal meter should come right up here and there it is and here in the satellite list menu there's a couple of other features that some users might find handy you'll see that there's a green button there that says more so press the green button on the keypad 
and then press it one more time and then hit the yellow button. You can actually see like a spectrum graph of your transponders. Just takes a minute to generate that for you. So that's one thing. And then hit the exit button to go out. And there's a guide button here. And if you input your uh, longitude and latitude, what you can do is, depending on the satellite that you're trying to get, hit the red calculate button. And it actually gives you your uh, azimuth, they call it the orientation. That's your compass direction, the elevation of your dish, and also what your L and B polarity or the skew should be set at. So that's a really handy feature. So if you get these two coordinates as accurate as possible, that information there will be what you need to uh, aim your dish correctly to get the satellite up here. Here I have the V8 Finder connected with an HDMI cable to my TV, and it really does function like a set-top receiver. I think a meter like this is an essential tool if you're a serious satellite hobbyist. It's much easier and more convenient to take one of these outside to aim a satellite dish than lugging a TV and receiver outside. This also functions as an all-in-one receiver and television if you're in an off-grid situation or, say, in an emergency. And you can even use this in the house as a receiver if you needed to. And these are priced uh, very reasonable. Some of these all-in-one units can go for hundreds of dollars. These are still available for around 100 bucks American. So um, all in all, a really good deal and definitely a tool that any satellite hobbyist should have in the toolbox.